Okay, here we're going to learn a really nice uh, jiu-jitsu escape from a bear hug. And, you know, a lot of people try to make it fancy. There's a lot of easy ways to get out of a bear hug, you know, and assuming he's not breaking your back. But before he gets all the super pressure on you, you got to start moving. So I like to slap their ears. Then I like to take my forearm and push it directly into his face, right across his nose, right on his eyes. I mean, if you ever had a forearm, and I'm digging that bone in there directly across his face and on his eyes, it really hurts. My other hand is free, too, so I can take it and smash his nose if I wanted to. So I'm going to get him to back up. i got to get him to, to back up and get away from me. I'm going to continue to press on down. If I keep pressing on his face, I can actually start bending him backwards. I'm going to bend him backwards and press him down all the way to the ground. So I'm coming here. I'm press, smashing into his nose, and I'm going to keep the pressure right on his face and going to bend him all the way down to the ground, and I can get away there. This is a nice little move where I go around behind his body with my, uh, uh, my arm here. I push down on his wrist, and then I hook up on his arm, and I go around his body, and I'm going to get around his body, and I'm actually going to lift him up in the air. And I'm going to flip him over my body when I get around the back. So I stepped around the back, got around him, hooked him around here, and lifted him up in the air and flipped him away. Now I'm going to throw him on the ground. Now I'm going to lock the arm behind his body. And this is a really interesting little move right here. And when he's on the ground, he's in this position. I have the arm bent there, and I have my knee so he can't roll forward. He can't roll sideways. I have my arm bent. He can't do anything. I can actually continue to hold him here by putting my leg in between his arm.